My name is Boy Melengua. I came all the way from Los Angeles uh, just to come back home for holidays because I'm working in Los Angeles. So I'm happy that I also visited the house of God where we worshipped God and enjoyed ourselves in the spirit. So I'm here accompanied by my wife, Georgina, and we really enjoyed the time here that we came uh, to see the, the man of God and the church. Uh, the man of God has told me about uh, problems uh, concerning my health and that God was going to heal me from all these uh, type of illnesses that are in my body. So I thank God for, for the healing. Thank you. Right now I feel good. Yeah, even when I go back, I'll feel go, I, uh, I feel like a new person. Yeah, I feel like, um, as the Bible says, those who are in Christ are new creatures. So I'm, I feel like a new creature in Christ. I, I would feel like um, tiredness and, uh, you know, just weak and having cholesterol, cholesterol in my body, a lot of fat. So God is dealing with that. And I know that uh, next time when I give my own testimony, it is going to be a different uh, testimony uh, for a different person. Th so I thank the Lord. Thank you. Okay. Uh, no, I, the experience was very good, <coughs> especially because uh, he speaks my language. We are coming from the same, the same place. So it was good for me to speak to a prophet, the man of God who speaks my own language, yes. No, I think uh, people should believe in God because God has chosen the man of God to, to give him a vision about us yeah, so that whatever he can see, he can uh, transmit to us so that we can understand uh, the problems going around our lives. So we appreciate that God has chosen some people uh, because of their faith so that they could impart their faith also to us. So we, we go home enriched knowing that uh, God has spoken to us. Yes. All right. My name is Happiness Mtungwa. I'm coming from Deben. Um, regarding the prophecy today, I will say I was just blown away. Um, the apostle came from a direction that I never expected. He revealed things that I never knew. Um, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I, I just thank God. He revealed new things in my life, which, which I would never think of. What made me come here is I was, I was, no, I was sick. I was not well. Um, I have a hormonal imbalance. Uh, which has led me to have fibroids and I've been bleeding a lot and I lost a lot of blood so I was feeling sick that's why I decided to come here for deliverance but the man of God came and told me about my hormonal imbalance that it is God it's God's purpose for me to have that hormonal imbalance because this is where my strength comes from this is where uh, he, he said I have more, horm more male hormones in me which will give me strength to be able to accomplish great things that I'm supposed to be accomplishing in life. If my hormones were normal, if I had like the normal female hormones, then I wouldn't have the necessary strength to accomplish everything that I have to accomplish and the grace of God, the grace of God is upon my life. I, I just thank God, I'm, I'm blessed, I'm amazed. So I'm coming out of here with a new understanding. Amen. I would encourage every viewer at home to come and visit Cherry's Missionary Church. God has a way for them. God has, is going to light their path. They are going to understand things which they are not understanding. God is going to reveal his secrets to them. Because the word of God says, 
it is to the glory of God to conceal a thing, but when it is revealed, then it is to our benefit. So I will really encourage them to come. Amen. Yes, my name is Rose. I'm Tanda. I'm a South African living in London. And the prophecy that I received was about my, um, my, my life, my health, of which it was true because I've been sick and I confirm it to be true. Many of God told me about my um, uh, struggling financially due to the things that were done to me. And um, I've been struggling even to get married and of which um, and, um, the prophet um, confirmed that there will be a marriage in future. So I confirm it, that was true because I am not married yet and I've been um, trying or I would say that um, I had someone who wanted, who paid something but there was no progress on the marriage side. They affect me because I feel like uh, um, I haven't progressed as much as I feel that um, financially struggling, I've been struggling with jobs and um, just to progress, even in marriage side, I wish I, uh, I, I've been married by now, but I haven't, yeah, it's been a struggle on that. I'm feeling good because I feel that God has prepared the way forward and there are things that are coming. To the viewers out there, I will say believe in God and have faith in God because in my situation, uh, the prophecy was like I'm supposed to be dead by now, but God has been preventing me from that. So if you believe in God and have faith in God, God will keep you and, and save you. Uh, my name is, okay, <laughs> my name is Pamandra Kambule. I'm from Deben, Pine Town. Uh, what the man of God told me, it's all the accurate prophecies. Or I find it all true. And uh, most importantly, I got the directions for my life. Uh, he gave several prophecies. Firstly, it was about the, my mother, mm, which he said, which he said, uh, she's so lonely. He, this thing brings her some diseases in her body. But he prayed that he will be, she will be well. Second prophecy was about what I'm here for to confirm, because I I I, I didn't know what really I had. So he confirmed what uh, I wanted to know, and thirdly. He gave me a great direction on what to do uh, because I was having another church and he directed me, told me every truth about the church, all the things that he said is the other things that I know. So he told me all that and what made me to believe mostly is because I didn't tell anyone about these things. I only knew them. but. The Spirit of God in him revealed everything accurately. I'm feeling so relaxed, light, like I'm happy most of all. Uh, I'm having this inner peace. Yes. Mm, I will encourage people who only need the truth about God and who only wants the mind of God about their lives uh, to come and visit Cherries. They will find...